Santa likes you, Papa Luz. So recently, I rewrote the first slam poem I ever performed here. Some of you might remember it, I don't know, but here it is, rewritten, hopefully better. <laughs> All of my life, I've heard the expression, shaking like a leaf, yet I've never seen a leaf shake exactly. In the rare autumns I have witnessed, I've only seen the leaves exist. During my freshman year of high school, I was not shaking like a leaf. I was shaking like San Francisco in April 1906. My gut would collapse on itself daily. My throat got caught between two telephone poles, all because my nerve endings and my mind made love to conceive a child called anxiety. She's maybe seven years old now, but my family and I didn't know about her until she was three. My doctor said we had to add social to her name, and later she was continuously called through the roof when they thought I wasn't listening. But I was, and that only made anxiety's heart beat a little faster. When I had the full diagnosis written down across my bathroom mirror, I had to start taking medication. Small pills and soft pastel blues and chalky whites. They were left on my tongue too long. They turned to sawdust and it'd take an entire bottle of water to wash away its taste. And then it would take a 30 minute long shower every night to prepare for school the next morning, to prepare me for the ghosts of eyes staring at my deer-like face. But that was not enough. There is no enough with anxiety. There is always the weeds planted inside you that choke you to let you know you need more, to keep you asking if your entire body collapsed in the forest of nervous breakdowns, would anyone be around to hear your teeth chattering? And then it was all on my shoulders. I had to patch up the cracks in my belly myself and repair the telephone poles in my windpipes. And anxiety stopped dancing in the pits of the crabgrass long enough for me to push her out, her heels painting skin marks across the ground. She slowly evicted herself from my body in a rigorous cleansing until all that remained, all that reminded me of anxiety were the pumpkin-colored pill bottles I needed to refill at the pharmacy and a valley where a forest of nervous breakdowns once stood. Yeah!